My name at birth was Noriyuki Morita. And people ask me often, how did I come by the way of Pat or Patrick, right? Um, <laughs> I started in show business as a stand-up comedian. And most of the comics were named either Jackie this or Pat that. With Pat Henry and Pat Cooper and Pat Pippin. There was Jackie Mason and Jackie Gale and Jack Carter and Jackie. So I, I, I decided I wanted to be a Pat. But, but, but that comes from another place uh, in its origin as far as my life is concerned. Um, I spent uh, nine years in a hospital from ages two to 11. I had uh, um, contracted spinal tuberculosis and uh, for the most part was immobilized uh, for seven of those nine years with a cast from shoulder to knee. <clears throat> and um, uh, during that stay, there was um, a priest used to come visit the wards and uh, there would be a, a Protestant uh, a reverend, minister, and a Catholic priest. And <clears throat> excuse me. Over the years, Father O'Connor, Father, Father Cornelius O'Connor, you see, would come to visit all the little children in the ward, and I always felt envious because the only the only Catholics in the ward were Hispanic, and I think um, a couple of Native American kids and and, and some Irish. But um, these were all my buddies, and and I used to feel very envious that uh, every Friday they'd get to have confession and they'd have Holy Communion and, and Mass on Sunday, etc. And I was just kind of left out there with no nothing of knowing nothing about religion. But Father O'Connor befriended me, long story short, and he said, I'll never forget his, his wonderful quotation. He says, and if one day I ever convert you, you little heathen, your name will be Patrick Aloysius Ignatius Xavier Noriyuki Morita. <laughs> I know heathen seems like a harsh word, but that means unbelievable, unbeliever. You know, uh, had nothing to do with my ethnicity or or, or whatever uh, negative. That was a phrase used from biblical times, and so. When I decided to go into show business, I um, decided I wanted to use the name Pat Morita. No, I began to use <clears throat> the name Pat uh, after high school. Um, uh, I spent uh, the years, uh, chronologically, if we go through there, um, uh, from the hospital into an internment camp, and I was still Noriyuki, or Nori for short, Morita. Uh, the war ended. I went to high school in Fairfield, California. And, um, you know, there's something beautiful about the young people in any generation. And, and while their parents were on a hate the Jap campaign, you know, because of the war, hysteria, and what have you, and uh, having given up sons and daughters to the war effort, et cetera. When I came, when I became a, a, a teenager and went to high school, these young kids didn't carry that kind of baggage with them. I was just a, a nori and a, and a classmate, and, and they gave me a sense of, of self um, for, for the first time in my life. And uh, so when, when I hear someone holler, hey, Nori, I know right away it's from before I was 18 years old. And then I graduated high school and um, settled into real life, and I became a Pat.